What is going on guys? Grave here. Today we're going to do something a little bit different with the class setups. Today I'm going to show you five class setups for one particular weapon. These are going to be five class setups you can use in different game modes, different play styles. Today we're going to talk about the XM4. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you like this kind of video. I'm going to try to do this maybe with some other uh, weapons as well. Of course it'd be hard to do it with all the weapons in the game because eventually you're going to kind of run into the same class setups, you know, depending on what kind of play style you use or what kind of build you're trying to make. But, of course, guys, like I said, if you do enjoy it, make sure you smash the like button. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Also, if you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. And check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and, of course, the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. So today's class setups are going to be for the XM4 Assault Rifle. So you kind of can see I have five different setups here. An all-around setup, a stealth, an objective, a running gun, and kind of a post-up um, kind of locked down lanes, uh, playing like hard point, things like that. Holding the spawn, uh, kind of playing that main AR role, that anchor role in hard point. So I like to use this class a lot. Let's go ahead and start with the all around class. Now, when it comes to perks, uh, tacticals, uh, pistols, that kind of, or secondaries. Secondary, you can use whatever you like. I prefer the pistol. You can use shotguns if you prefer. Of course, tacticals and lethals and uh, field upgrades. These are the ones that I really like to use with the setup personally. But you can also change these out if you would like. So I'm using Stem, uh, Simtex, Simtex Stem Shot. I'll get it out here in a second. Excuse me. And the Jammer. Uh, flag Jacket, Tack Mask, Scavenger, Gearhead, Ghost, and Ninja. Like I said, this is kind of an all-around class. You can use it for any mode, uh, you know, whether it be objective or whatever the case may be. I use this class a lot when I play Team Deathmatch, and it works very, very well. Now, when it comes to the setup itself, I'm using the Microflex LED. I'm not going to go in too much detail about these attachments. We've talked about these in several videos uh, in the past, and I'm sure most of you guys know what all these do already. Uh, then we're going to go with the reinforced heavy barrel for uh, heavy barrel for that effective damage range and bullet velocity, the field agent grip, the 40 round speed mag, and the airborne elastic wrap. Now a lot of these classes I use the 40 round speed mag just so I don't have to have that 25% con on aim down sight time. But you could also go with that 50 round fast mag, just kind of depending on what you want to do. Sometimes I run this, sometimes I don't, just kind of depending on the situation. Now for the next class setup, we're going to go with more of a stealth build. And I know a lot of people are going to say you're not running Ghost, so how is this technically a stealth build? You could run Ghost instead of Spycraft, but I'm not sure uh, that a lot of people out there have realized how good Engineer and Spycraft are together. So we're going to run that Engineer and Spycraft combo. The reason being is you can not only hack enemy equipment with spycraft um, you're immune to counter spy planes jammers field mics tracker and paranoia you won't be trigger you won't trigger proximity mines or gas mines of course you can booby trap enemy care packages and you think about if you're kind of playing stealth staying behind enemy lines trying to flank people being immune to all this stuff is really really handy of course then we use engineer kind of paired with that that way we can see all the equipment out uh, you know, kind of out on the map, out on the field in front of us. Uh, and what's really great about this is you can pretty much just hack uh, field mics and jammers all day long because everyone seems to be running field mics now, especially since Ninja does not, you know, counter them anymore. You know, if you're running Ninja, a field mic's going to show you up on the minimap, uh, you know, whether you have Ninja on or not. So you can have control of a lot of things across the map, a lot of different field mics, a lot of different jammers. And even though you don't have Ghost on, when you, when you start to get control of all of this stuff, uh, you really don't have to worry about ghosts because you're already you pretty much already know where everybody's coming from anyway or you have them all jammed out so you can kind of hide from those uavs so that's the reason i don't like to run ghosts with this particular class but of course we're going to run forward intel engineer scavenger gearhead ninja and spycraft uh stem shot simtex field mic 1911 pistol and when it comes to the weapon itself we're going to go with uh, no optic with the normal suppressor the extended barrel just for that bullet velocity uh, the 40 round speed mag, the airborne elastic wrap, and the Raider stock. Now, we do not have an underbarrel on this. The gun does not have horrible recoil anyway. We are going to be running around kind of a stealth build, so you should be pretty close for most kills. So the recoil is really not going to be an issue. But like I said, the gun's, the gun's recoil is not that bad to begin with. But if you are having issues with it, you could always slap on the agency suppressor to get that 7% vertical recoil control. The only thing about this is that effective damage range and bullet velocities hurt even more. Of course, we do have the bullet velocity barrel on it. As you can see, we're still at 935, and I try to always keep my you know, weapons are over 900 if that is possible with an attachment. But that effective damage range, it, it kind of sucks at 30.63. As you can see, it's a, a pretty big drop from 38.86. So 
That's why I go with the normal suppressor, but you could go with that agency suppressor. This is a really, really fun setup. I've been using this off and on a good bit. Uh, and you'd be surprised how well you can do with it. Like I said, that spycraft and engineer combo um, is really good because you pretty much can own all the enemy equipment across the map, hack everything, uh, kind of take over you know all these field mics that are out there because everyone seems to be running field mics right now and have tons of intel for you. And you know, of course, if you're playing with friends or, or talking to your teammates, you can give out a lot of information kind of running this class. Plus, stay behind enemy lines with that silencer and pretty much just destroy uh, pretty much anybody you come up against. If you can kind of get in and, you know, flank a lot, uh, this is a really good setup. Now for the objective setup, this is going to be Flak Jacket, Tack Mask, Scavenger, Quartermaster, Ninja, and Ghost. Now there's a few things you could change up here. You could drop Ghost, first of all, for something like Cold Blooded if you want to stay off the radar for, you know, you're playing a team that's getting a lot of uh, air, aerial streaks, choppers, that kind of thing. That way you can shoot them down. You could do that. Also, when it comes to Tier 2 or Perk 2 here, I'm running Quartermaster because in objective game modes, I like to be able to throw, you know, any kind of equipment that I'm using. Of course, I do have a Simtex on here. You could slap on something like a Flashbang or a Stun. That way, you're going to be able to have your equipment back pretty quick. Um, you're going to be able to throw, you know, grenades and, and Stun grenades pretty much anytime you want. Of course, Tack Mask uh, and Flak Jacket are a must on an objective style class. If you're going to be playing the objective, you're going to want this on at all times. Of course, stem shot, Simtex, and the trophy system. The other thing you could do here in the Perk 2 slot is also run Gearhead. That way you can reduce your field upgrade cooldown and store up to two field upgrade chargers. That way you can have more trophy systems ready um, a little more often. Of course, I am running the launcher. This is a objective style class. So not only are you going to be playing the objective, you're going to be helping uh, your teammates you know, with all those pesky UAVs, counter UAVs, and of course, any kind of aerial kill streaks and when it comes to the class itself i'm going with the micro flex led the extended barrel the field agent grip the airborne elastic wrap and the raider pad the reason i'm going without a magazine or anything like that or a muzzle is because we're going to be on the objective so if you're playing hard point you're playing domination you're going to be in a small area so in my opinion it's really good to be able to aim down sight quickly and also uh, the ability to sprint to fire quickly. So that's kind of why I use this setup instead of a magazine. You can drop this field agent grip if you prefer uh, to have a bigger magazine. That's what I would kind of recommend you dropping. Um, you also could drop the optic and go with some type of laser. But you just want to be able to ADS as quickly as possible and sprint to fire as quickly as possible with this class. That way, you know, like I said, if you're on that objective, uh, you're going to be able to take advantage of kind of the situation and have a weapon that uh, reacts pretty quickly to or with that uh, kind of a situation, you know, whatever the case may be. Now, this is going to be the run and gun class. For this class, we're going to use Flak Jacket and Paranoia. The reason I'm using Paranoia, kind of the run and gun, uh, run and gun class, a lot of people like to head glitch, a lot of people like to get in windows, uh, different kind of areas. That way, if they're aiming at you, you don't know they're aiming at you, that Paranoia will pop up, so it is pretty helpful. Tracker and Assassin, of course, this is going to make it easier to find people on uh, other people on the other team on kill streaks, and also we can kind of track them down with Tracker, Gung Ho, and Ninja. Uh, the one reason I like Gung Ho with this, of course, if you guys have not used Gung Ho, you can fire your weapon and use equipment while sprinting, move at full speed when reloading, switch weapons faster, take less damage from falling, and fire accurately when sliding. And of course, this is a running gun class, so all of those things are very, very handy. Uh, stem shot and Simtex, and for the field upgrade, we're going to go with the Assault Pack, considering here in Perk 2, we're not running Scavenger. Of course, 1911 is my secondary. And when it comes to the class setup itself, this is another one I kind of like to run a little bit stealthy. I'm going with the Agency Suppressor. We are going to be running, you kind of are just running around the map, you know, not really stopping and taking too much time, just, you know, maybe to check out kind of an area before we push it. But I'm not really concerned with that effective damage range and bullet velocity as much because we're going to be really, really close, hopefully, when we kind of, you know, are able to take advantage of the other team. So then I'm going to go with the extended barrel to make up that bullet velocity, the 40 round mag, the airborne elastic wrap, and the raider pad. Once again, not going with a grip here. You're going to try to be close and, and you know, within 10, 15, 20 feet at all times. So the under barrel, there's really no need to have a grip in my opinion. And the reason I decided to go with the normal 40 round mag, yes, it will be slower to reload, but I didn't want to have any cons of aim down sight. This is kind of a running gun class. You want to be able to be, uh, you want to be as quick and snappy as possible. So we didn't want to affect, you know, the airborne elastic wrap or that Raider stock, you know, with any other downsides. 
Uh, this is a pretty quick class. As you can see, uh, we'll take a look real quick. There's not really a lot of downsides besides effective damage range and bullet velocity. We're not really hurting anything. Uh, aim walking movement speed just a little bit, of course, with that barrel. But as you can see here, there's no effects from the uh, any of the other attachments, you know, shooting move speed, sprint to fire, but we're going to make up for that here with the Raider stock. Now, one thing you can do with this, if you want it to just be a pure, uh, you know, uh, kind of no, I guess no cons, kind of just a pure, you know, just plus build, you could go with the speed tape, which has no cons, and you also could go with something like maybe more the buffer tube, um, get a little bit less, you know, harm to that hip fire accuracy if you like to hip fire more. Uh, you could even go with something like the tactical stock if you want to aim walking movement speed instead of ADS speed or sprint to fire speed. Last but not least, we're going to go with the kind of set up, uh, post up, hold down, lock down lanes. I really like this class playing. Uh, Dom's not bad if you just have two uh, flag control, but hard point, I really, really like this. I like to play kind of that anchor role. I try to get the spawn, keep the spawns for, you know, from hard point to hard point. And this class works really, really well. Now, depending on the map and the situation, you may want to change forward intel out for flak jacket, but I do have forward intel in there to begin with. Uh, gearhead and ghost. We're going to go with stem shot, semtex, and fill mic. Gearhead with these two, with fill mics, you can have two fill mics within about three or four minutes in game. That way you kind of just kind of can set them up around you or behind you to make sure the enemy is not flanking you. I like to run a launcher with this class. I am going to be sitting back. So even though I have ghost on a lot of times, I'm not going to be moving too much. It's kind of from, uh, you know, cover to cover to lock it down, you know, lock down areas in front of me. So it is nice to have that launcher. I can shoot down some pesky UAVs if I'm not moving too much. And when it comes to the class setup itself, of course, we're going to go with gunfighter, microflex, LED, the just regular muzzle brake. You can go with things like the infantry compensator and the SOCOM eliminator. But that's a, kind of as of late, I've not been a big fan of these because, yes, I know you're not getting massive cons of horizontal recoil to some of these guns, but I'm just kind of a, a fan of the muzzle brake. Even though it's not a big plus to that vertical recoil control, there's actually no cons there to the horizontal recoil control. So it's just kind of a you know, a positive attachment that has no negatives. And when it comes to the barrel, I'm going with the extended barrel. You could go with the reinforced heavy if you prefer that. I just love the extended barrel because it, that hit registration is pretty much automatic. You don't have to worry about that, you know, those kind of ghost bullets and things. In case you guys don't know, bullet velocity is very, very important in this game. I know a lot of people feel like they have horrible hit registration, and one reason is because their bullet velocity is not high enough, and it's a lot different in this game than it has been in any other COD. So if you have not tried things that increase your bullet velocity, definitely give them a look. Uh, of course, the next thing I want to go with is the Tiger Team Spotlight. In my opinion, it or the SOF Target Designator are the two best. Uh, field Agent Foregrip, 50 round fast mag. We're not going to be running around a lot, you know, having to worry about ADSing quickly or anything like that. So that 50 round fast mag is nice. You can just sit back and just spray bullets for a good while before you have to reload. Airborne Elastic Wrap. And last but not least, the SAS Combat Stop, which is going to give a shooting movement speed and aim walking movement speed. And that's going to help out kind of with us just locking down certain areas. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know if you like this type of video. Like I said, I could do it for some other weapons if you guys would like to see that. Uh, I thought this would be something a little bit different, kind of give you some ideas of some different ways you can run the XM4. Uh, like I said, if you're just a person who likes to run around, you like to be stealthy, you like to play objectives, uh, you know, you like to just lock down areas, whatever the case may be, hopefully you can find something for you with all these different setups. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.